about that, guys. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome On today's back. episode, as I said, I'm looking at making some um, oxtails. But I had a style of flavor. Uh, so I'm making some braised oxtails. Um, don't mind my fingers, guys. I was making some um, turmeric and ginger puree today, and my fingers got fingernails got damaged. So it's just a turmeric that caused this right here. All right. So if you see that, hopefully by tomorrow I'm ready to. Um, Cook this then it will be gone but what I have here about one and a half pounds of um, oxtails oxtail that I'll be um, preparing today so this is what it looks like what I'm going to do I'm going to remove the I just sharp my knife so I'm going to remove the fat as much as I possibly can from off of it I'm just gonna try and skim skim off the excess fat because I don't want too much oil when you finish I don't want too much oil render off in it so try and clean off as much of the fat as possible as I possibly can we we'll need some of the, the, the oil in there to tenderize the meat and to give it flavor but we don't want too much of it in there so this is my first piece and I'm gonna put it in my dish that I have over here that's one piece down. This one is not so bad. Have a little on there, so that's gonna. I don't want to cut off too much of the flesh with it. Just want to get off the excess and um, get it off like that, and that's it. Still piece. So, or or you guys? Uh, sorry, I missed posting any videos yesterday but last week but um I just wanted us to take a break. Our videos filmed but just was not edited so I said, you know let me take a break. Alright so I'm going to clean up the rest and then we'll come back whenever time I'm finished alright well, I have to mention this company your name I don't know if you guys ever see but this here is Lilan Oxtail. It's really not fatty fatty. I mean like that. You know, I want too much fat on there. Because sometimes the oxtail just turn me off with the heap of fat, fat on there. So as I can see, don't have on much. I just have a little bit around there to take off. Alright. Alright guys, so we're back. Um, so I rinse it already two, twice. But if you notice, there are some little um, things down in there. So I'm going to wash it now with this thing here. Um, Maggie Citrus Watch. So what this I'll do is I'll break down the fat so the sticky film over it and then something there. And I'll start to freshen it a little bit. So I'm going to empty out that in there. And then I'm going to put some vinegar in there too. So I'll cook the raw on this and go wash it. I'll give the oxtail some good loving, right? So this is the night before. So I'll start the night and I'll cook it for Sunday dinner tomorrow. So we're going to throw this on top. It's a little bit of that. So this, I'm going to take it down from out there. I'm going to take it down. Alright, and it's all good. That's what we oxide is looking like. I'm going to add this. We have some salt. About. Two teaspoons of salt. We're gonna put this in there, and then tomorrow we are cooking. I have my brown cinnamon that I just ground in, so we're gonna put a little bit on there. I have my ginger that I just um, put in my blender and thing there. We're gonna put about a teaspoon on that as well. The people passing with the music, guys. About a teaspoon. About this much. We're gonna put on there. Okay guys, my memory, my memory went, so I don't even remember we were cut off, I know I was putting 
um this seasoning in there but let me give you a rundown of the things that i used in there i think you have to see when i put in the garlic so i added some uh some of my green seasoning in there about a tablespoon in there as you can see down in there and yeah, no, i added my ginger and so forth then i added about a tablespoon of some olive oil and and i added some um soy sauce as well I remember just cut off so this is what I had left in the plate I was doing and I realized that the, 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 the phone stopped so the camera stopped so this I have on here I have some red and green sweet pepper some hot pepper that I cut up small and then I have some fresh thyme here so we're just going down all of this down in there and then I'll try to use the bag over my hand and just going to start massaging all of this Good nice seasoning. I want to say I put meat like this, especially red meat, fresh is best, you guys. Fresh seasoning is best. There's no way. Ah, powdered seasoning can give you. This is what it looks like. Yes. It's well There's no way powdered seasoning could make it look this way. So, can't wait to start cooking it tomorrow. Alright, so. Just so I put the bag over there because I want it to use the morning. So instead of wasting that bag, I can't use plastic wrap. Right? I don't know why. Oh, my plastic wrap finished. The last of it. That's the last of my plastic wrap. So I can wrap it down and then have to use my fab. Wrap it down, it should lock down all of that. See you in another week, yeah, man. So. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna put this in the fridge till the morning. So, you follow the morning. Hi, guys, it's the next day. So, we're gonna start on our oxtail that has been seasoned from last night. It has been marinating for probably uh, All right, so we have it here. Right here. So, let's have a go on, stir it up again. Stir it up like that again. Alright, so we're going to move over to the stove and then we're going to continue. As you already know me, um, I have to burn out some garlic every time I'm cooking meat. That's my style. So this is what I'm doing right here now. Trying to get the flavor. Flavor the oil. I'm always say maximum flavor. We try to get maximum flavor in our meat. So the meat have seasoned on there. The oil is seasoned. We marry the two together. You know, say a maximum flavor there. So. Get out the flavor now the way we want out of the garlic. So you know, I'm gonna use them here again with us. I'm gonna move them because I want to burn them. I don't want the oil to have a, have a bitter taste, so we're gonna move them. And I'm going to allow the oil to come up to get some more heat because I want to get a sear on the oxtail to lock in the juice in there. So so we've got the oil real hot because you know as soon as you put the meat in there the temperature of the oil is going to drop and we don't want it to drop too low so we've got it real high and then have the stove on high as well all right so we're going to brown them up we're going to brown them up and then you come back as soon as that side you get a good nice feel on it So they're now ready to be turned and as you can notice here it has a nice hair on it what this um does it locks in the juice so when you're ready to eat it's you know juicy and nice and please note i'm using a tongue to turn them um i'm not using a fork what i see i see a lot of people using fork to turn their meat I, it's something that i don't suggest i don't advise because when you use the fork what it's going to do it's going to pierce through the meat and then it's going to release all that juice from out of it so you know if you don't have a tongue you know what you do use a spoon to turn your meat and not a fork i suggest you turn your meat not in a fork okay, I'm gonna turn. so we're going to do the same thing just fry it up on that side here and then we'll come back so it's properly seared you can see on both sides there. I'm going to see it. I'm going to see it.
So these are ready to come out. This is what our oxtail is going to look like. So with this now, we're going to show off most of the oil and then we come back. So all of these brown bits here, we want them down in there because that's tons of flavor. Look what we're going to do now. I'm adding about a tablespoon of brown sugar down in there. And we're going to caramelize this sugar here. We don't, don't want to put it in the pot and leave it there. We want to constantly stir it so as not to have it burned. Adding more flavor and color, a tablespoon of um, tomato paste here. Look, I went with this sugar there. So I'm going to try sort to of get rid of the, um, the acidity from the tomato paste. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So we're just going to stir it in there. Okay. I'm about to waste nothing, so I forget to have every, every, every bit from the spoon there. The seasoning, the clover. Drop it right down here. We're not finished with this as yet. We're going to put it aside and come back with this, right? All of this. Yeah. Mmm. Oh. We're going to finish that nice and sweet, yes. So I'm going to use some chicken broth, so this is the noodle that I'm using, I put some, put about two cups of half of it and put about two cups of um, uh, uh, boiling water on there and dry it, steep it for about um, a couple of minutes and then we're going to strain it off and then we're going to add it to that. This is a broth. I'm going to also make some beef, beef broth that could be in it. So that's that, you know, like better stick with the chicken, chicken broth. And I'm that flavors. So we're going to cover it and allow it to come up to a boil. It's now to a boil. So what we're going to do. going to add back that oxtail that seared oxtail down into all of this flavored goodness here just gently put them back down in there and look at all that juice look at all that juice that came out of the oxtail put that right back down in there we're going to cover and we're going to lower the, 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 the stove Medium low. So drop on the flame. I'm going to allow this to simmer and breathe in this um, liquid here for about two hours or so. Remember, guys, with red meat, in this case, um, oxtail, fresh is best, slow is the way to go. That's my motto when you're cooking red meat, alright? Fresh is best, slow is the way to go. Alright? You can't go wrong once you follow that um, thing there. And also you have to sear the meat as well. Okay guys, it has now been going for about 30-40 minutes. This is what our it's looking like. So we've read it in our guys. This is what it's looking like so far. Woo! Oh, I want to have 
box and we have this under. And this is what it's looking like. Look at that beautiful color. Very beautiful and it smells so good and we're not done with it yet. You know, I can't see that there. Meat getting tender. Look at that guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this could be a nice um. Oh man. So you see all of this oil will get up on the top there, so we're gonna try to skin it out. I don't know if I if I answered it earlier, but this is all the liquid that I, I placed in there. From the from the side I don't add any other liquid to it so it has been cooking in its in this um juice here I should say for the past all, about two hours now so you know so that ah the flavor content is in this is well concentrated so what I'm going to do and what I advise you to do as well is you know what I'm cooking red meat instead of adding don't add cold water to it because what that does it drops the temperature of the um, of the pot and then that's how you get you know the meat feeling tougher you know or, or, or so so we don't want the meat to be tough so we're adding boiling hot water to it so so that the temperature does not um drop all right so boiling hot water boiling hot water we put them in there all right okay, just covering it we'll cover it and simmer it for about 10 minutes more before we start next okay so this is where i'm going to remove if you can notice here, you have the oil there getting up at the top there. So I want to remove that. You want to skim it up. You want all of this part here. There. All of that we're going to skim it up. I don't know why I eat that right. So this is the amount that we took off from it about a cup. A cup and a half. So I'm just going to discard this. I'm now ready to add another layer of flavor with, my, with some more fresh seasoning. So right there, I have half of a ripe pepper um, for heat. Because I know we love heat around there. I have the green one for flavor. I have a small um, potato, Irish potato. I have some carrots there. Thyme, scallion, um, some garlic paste, about a tablespoon. Um, some red and green sweet pepper and some onions over the back there. Sorry about the, the light guys. Remember we talk about layering of flavor, you know, we, we start out, you know, we season the meat, we add it to the flavored oil and now we are flavoring it yet again. So this is what we're talking about, layering of flavor guys. Lay, layer your flavor on your meat, always. Sorry guys, I was to just stop the camera because I have some neighbors here. They, they make a lot of noise. Inserts roll eyes emoji right here. But then, anyway, I added the fresh seasonings there, and then we're just going to allow that to just um, you know just flavor up the spot. And I'm telling you, it smells heavenly. So we're going to put this on there and leave it there um, for about you know run it for about um, another half an hour or so. So after an hour. Um Three hours. This is what our um, rock steel is looking like, guys. And I'm telling you, this is fall off the bone tender. When I tell you, look at that. When I tell you, this is fall. It is fall off the bone tender. It's the carrots and oh man. That's why I push for them crack it on in there for the stick up the gravy some more. And then we're going to add in some butter to it. So right at the finishing, about five minutes, we're going to put this in there and eat it through. And then we're done. And then we're going to add the gravy too. And as you see there, just marry them together. And we're going to dry it down. And then that will be it, guys. That will be it. Look at that. Look at the beans there, and then we finish. So I'll cover it back in five minutes, and we take some. Yes, guys, and this is what our look at that. 
some nice look at that guys let's take a good look at that Here you have it guys, my authentic Jamaican braised oxtail. Very delicious, so beautiful. Here I have it served with my authentic Jamaican rice and peas and a salad. Thank you so very much for watching guys. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. See you on my next video.